Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is brisket chili loaded baked potatoes. That's right, today we are combining three things that we all love dearly, brisket, chili, and loaded baked potatoes. Now this brisket chili that we're making, it's a great utilization for leftover brisket, but I know that the concept of leftover brisket might be a foreign one to a lot of us because that stuff never lasts very long. So we're gonna smoke up a brisket specifically for the purpose of this video. And we've got lots of brisket videos out there that get really in depth on techniques and how to's. That's not necessarily what we're doing today. We're gonna walk you through the whole process, but we're gonna do it a little bit more quickly than we normally would. So we're starting with a beautiful Creek Stone Farms prime brisket. I've already trimmed this out, got the fat off of the point. We got a nice little fat cap going over the flat. We're gonna get this thing seasoned up real quick here. We're starting off with a little bit of the W Worcestershire sauce uh, as a binder. And then we're gonna hit this with two layers of rub today. The first one being Plowboy's Bovine Bold go-to brisket rub right here if you're looking for Kansas City style. And we're gonna mix that up with a Texas style rub as well in the Cattleman's Lone Star. So we get a little bit of, a little bit of both, a touch of sweetness but the nice uh, salt and pepper bark. The flavors that actually complement each other really well, they don't always have to compete. All right, seasoned up the top side. We're gonna let that set up for about five minutes and make sure it's fully attached and then we'll get it into the smoker. So today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS1500S pellet grill. And we've got a brisket on here that's been on all night. This is kind of my favorite way to do brisket easy now. If you're, if you're cooking a brisket on a pellet grill, I like to put it on about 10 p.m. I'll let it ride all night running at 190 so it never gets overcooked. Then in the morning, you've got great bark. You can go ahead and wrap it, foil boat it, whatever you're gonna do to it. And then crank that temperature up to finish it off. We'll go ahead and throw this brisket on. And then we're gonna wrap up the one from last night. So you see we've got some great fat rendering out where we had that fat cap, beautiful bark over up on top of the point. Internals in the 170s right now. So we got about, you know, 30 degrees to go to finish this off. Just gonna pop this off here for just a minute. And we're gonna foil boat this puppy today. So we're just gonna be leaving the top open so the bottom can braise to finish, but we keep that beautiful bark on top. Catch some of those juices as well. We'll turn this up to 275 to finish out. Brisket's temping about 205 now, but more importantly, that probe tenderness feeling pretty buttery. You can see just from the gentle movements, it's kind of got that jiggle going on. So our brisket's ready to come off. I'm gonna put this on a sheet pan and slide it into our cambro to hold it hot for the next few hours as it rests. We could do this in the cooler, same kind of thing. The brisket's been resting for about three hours now. It's looking really good. We're gonna cut into it here in just a moment. But I gotta tell you guys, for the purpose of our shooting schedule, we're gonna break up the second half of this video into tomorrow. But if you're at home doing this right now, you absolutely can cube up your brisket right now. Go ahead and make your brisket chili and move on to the baked potatoes. So I'm just gonna slice this right down the middle so we can get a good look at it. And then we're gonna chill this down and cube it up tomorrow. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd say it's juicy. Boy, you know I'm gonna have to take a little bite. Mm. Salty, smoky, fatty, delicious. Great texture on the bark. Super tender. Yeah. I'm gonna be glad we have leftovers of this for tacos and for breakfast and whatever else you wanna do. Well, for now, our brisket's just gonna get wrapped up and go into the refrigerator. It's cooled down enough during the uh, rest 
that we shouldn't have to leave this open right now. It's not super hot. We'll throw that in the fridge and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back guys. We made it to tomorrow. It's time to bake some potatoes and then make some chili. Now we're gonna coat the outside of our baked potatoes in a little butter and beef tallow. Uh, this is actually the seasoned tallow from the brisket that we smoked yesterday. We're doing two ounces of each. All right, that's all melted down. Let's get it in a bowl. And from here, we're just gonna roll the outside of the cleaned potato in the fat. Hit it with just a little bit of kosher salt. And that's ready to go on the smoker. All right, let's head out. So potatoes are going on the Yoder 1500, we're running at 425. But we got some big taters, so this is going to take us a good 60 to 90 minutes. Now moving on to our brisket chili, we've got our brisket that we smoked yesterday. I'm going to use about a pound and a half of it for the chili. Just throwing it on a paper towel because it's cold and it wants to move, and of course that's dangerous. Get a little bit of the flat on there. And of course you gotta have some of that fatty, fatty, fatty point meat. Don't need all that fat in there. Now these larger chunks, we're just gonna cut into cubes that'll braise and break down in the chili. And this little guy right here, we're just going to chop this up fine so it just immediately kind of melts into the chili. I got a little bit of knife work to do here. We've got a yellow onion, a red onion, although you could use any kind of onion you like, a couple poblanos, and some garlic cloves. Same kind of thing with the poblano as far as dicing it up the same size. And for the garlic, we'll crush these, get them peeled, and then mince down. Now for the tomatoes today, we're using our Chow San Marzano's, best canned tomatoes you can get a hold of, I feel like. I don't want whole tomatoes in there, so I'm just gonna crush these up by hand because I also don't want it fully pureed. I'm gonna have a little bit of texture to it. All right, let's get cooking. We're gonna start with a quarter cup of brisket tallow that rendered out of that brisket yesterday. And then we'll throw down our onions and our peppers. I'm gonna season this up with a couple tablespoons of our Cattleman's Grill Roadhouse seasoning. A great savory rub some chipotle, a little bit of cumin, lots of great flavors that you want to have in your chili. And then we're just going to let these sweat down until they're softened. Those onions are looking translucent now. Our peppers are softening up. I'm going to throw in the garlic. We give this about 30 to 60 seconds. Cook a little bit of that raw out. Keep it moving. Now we're gonna kind of deglaze the bottom of this Dutch oven with our tomatoes. And we'll throw in our brisket. And of course you gotta have some beans. About two and a half cups. This is a mixture of black, pinto, and kidney beans. And then from here, we're just gonna add a quart of unsalted beef stock. I know most people, you're just gonna buy beef stock at the store. Really look for that unsalted though, because it's crazy how much salt they'll put in some of those broths. And then you have no control over the salt level or even the overall flavor of your chili. So now I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer here on our induction burner, and then we'll just throw it in the grill and let it simmer away until we get to the consistency we like. I messed up guys. I forgot to add my smoked paprika earlier. It's fine, it's not gonna affect anything. I'm just glad I caught it. So we're gonna stir it in now. So we'll 
we'll throw this right in the hot spot above the firebox right down there and close this up and come back and check on these potatoes here in about oh, another 20 minutes. Potatoes have been on for a little more than an hour now. And if I'm just probing them, yeah, they're getting nice and tender. And these are definitely ready to come off. Now you just want to throw these in a warm spot. We've got a Cambro here. You can put them in a cooler. You can just stick them in the oven, and keep them warm until this chili's done. Well, an hour is about all we need it to get that chili where we need it. Look how thickened up that is. You still got some big chunks of brisket, but it's also breaking down that starch from the beans and that brisket falling apart. It's thickened everything up. All right, time to load them up. We're going to crack open our potato from the top. Give it a little pinch to pop it open. And the first thing we're gonna do is kind of almost like twice baked this potato right here. We're gonna fluff up all the insides. See it's still steaming hot. And while it's still steaming hot, we're gonna throw in a little bit of butter, a little bit of our Chihuahua cheese. Any kind of melting cheese will work great and mix that in until you essentially have some like cheesy mashed potatoes in here. And since that potato is completely unseasoned, let's go ahead and hit it with a little bit of our Lone Star brisket rub, and salt, pepper, roasted garlic, and celery seed. So we've already got a good thing started here, but here's where it really gets fun. Essentially gonna turn our potato into a soup bowl or a chili bowl in this case. And then we'll ladle in our brisket chili right over the top. And then all the fixings. Some sharp cheddar on top. I need a little hot sauce. Cattleman's pit fire. Hit it with some barbecue sauce. We got the Blues Hog Smoky Mountain, one of my favorite for beef. Just that touch of sweetness. Gotta have sour cream with a baked potato. Ooh. <laughs> it was going so well. And we'll finish it off with some fresh chives. And boom, there you have your brisket chili loaded baked potato. All right, let's dig in here and get a bite. We gotta get a little bit of that potato little bit of that chili. Let me get, get a chunk of brisket on there too. Mm. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> That's so good. It's comfort food in a spoon. I got brisket first, which is smoky, falling apart tender now. Just a touch of sweetness from that barbecue sauce on top because everything else going on here is savory. You almost just really need that little bit of sweetness. It's cheesy. The potatoes are creamy. Sour cream's creamy. Completely savory chili, which is exactly how I love my chili. I bump up the hot sauce a little bit and I would be perfectly happy. These things, they look beastly, but I promise you're gonna have no problem putting one down. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. And good news, we're now shipping all around the world. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.